Hey everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Bentley, episode number 19. Since last episode, I made my way out looking for another temple. This time, it looks like there's a uh, like a swamp temple, so I'd start looking around seeing if I couldn't find some secret rooms here in this actual swamp, and so far, I have found a few. There's one poking out there, there's one right there, which is one I marked with cobble, and then I didn't really see anything else, so I uh, decided to make my way down into the ground and do some digging for a little while. I uh, used my dev null from open blocks, which is just cobble and an apple. Uh, you put the item in there that you actually want to void away, and any more than a stack in that dev null, it just kind of voids itself away. So um, I did manage to find myself a couple secret rooms. One namely right there. There's also another one right at the end of that hallway there, so we're gonna get to it and start opening these guys up and see if there's actually anything good. Hopefully like a, a temple key inside one of these secret rooms here. Hoping for the best. What do we get? Just a regular key. Oh, oh and I've also been picking up a large number of clay because uh, I play on doing stuff. If we don't find what I'm looking for in time today, then uh, I think what I'm going to be working on is uh, hopefully another means of getting more rupees, bombs, potions, and all that good fun stuff. So, secret room number two, yield us a key, please. It'd be very nice of you. It'd make my day a lot easier. You know that. Um, two more keys, two bombs, and nothing else? Really? You're not making it easy on me, are ya? I can tell that right now. All right, let's make our way back to the surface real quick, and let's check out these secret rooms. I believe this guy right here, number three. Come on, secret. Where did the bomb go? Eh, well, nonetheless, it's open now. <laughs> it opened up. Um. All right, cool. And ooh, fire arrows. Oh, <gasps> we got one. The oh, it's a wind temple. Oh, okay. We got ourselves another red potion. We got some diamonds. What is this? A Deku leaf. What does that do? Interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, all right. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and take that. I'm not too worried about redstone, so we'll take the diamonds. Diamonds are always nice to have. I guess I'll take the iron this time. And might as well go ahead and take a look at the uh, other room we have over here. So let's go open this guy up. One more secret room. Who knows? It might be another key. <laughs> we might be able to make another key. Or get another key. Whoa, 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 bombs. Quit. Make up your mind. Crazy thing. Ooh, ooh, hello. Another locked chest. Opens as me. Aw. Just another key. Well, that's not too bad. We didn't do too horrible, I guess. Um, I got plenty of cobblestone. We'll just put that away. All right, I need to go ahead and mark this temple here uh, with a page. I'm actually gonna make my way back to. And actually, I want to pick up one of you guys. Oh man, you know what, guys? We need to work on some sort of bigger backpack. So that's what I'm also gonna grab probably uh, when we get back. I'm just gonna break some mushrooms with my key here. Um, I think that's a good way to use my keys. And we'll put you away. We got another wind temple key. We still got two earth temple keys we can go through. I might even wind up looking uh, for another uh, couple earth temples just to conquer because I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's do this, that, combine these two guys together. Let's get us another page. And we'll go ahead and set ourselves a warp up right here in front of the door, which this looks really cool, by the way. I like the way that turned out. We'll call this the wind temple. And we'll add this to... Our book. Shift right click and we'll toss that guy right there. Let's head back to our castle here. So far so good. Everything's happy. We got a few more potions of strength going on in here. I don't know what this does. I wonder, do we? Whoa. Okay, I just noticed that. <laughs> this is like a improved version of the rock's feather. That's like increased gliding there. It looks like it's got a short cooldown. Oh, oh, oh. Dude! Piggy, I am so sorry for this. But you are going to be test subject. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, man. Uh, um, does it do anything? Um, It looks like I can almost sustain myself in flight. Maybe? 
Um, kind of. It's a very interesting tool. It looks like it kind of drains my, um, my hunger bar. I think it's like exhaustion meter or something, but that is really cool. <laughs> I love finding little stuff like this. This is awesome. I wonder how well we could use this to fight boss battles and stuff like that. That might be kind of interesting to see. Um, I was thinking also of trying out, this is the reason why I actually grabbed some mushrooms. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to see if I can get set up a potion of weakness. I don't know if that's gonna actually help me in what I plan on doing for fighting um, the big bad guys in our temples here, but uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna get ourselves a fermented spider eye. I'm gonna come over here and grab a little bit of uh, water. We're gonna start setting up some potions. Um, we got a lot of experience we can use too. I do need to repair some of my armor. It's, eh, it's actually not horrible, but it could use for a little repair, I think. And a little nether wart. I need to get a nether wart farm up and running, actually. And let's go ahead and use our bottles of enchanting. We'll go ahead and uh, actually. Let's see if, if we can go ahead and repair our armor and stuff. I do need to repair my tools as well. They're getting pretty low. Um, yeah, 20, 24 levels. This is my working pickaxe. So I'm, oops, uh, repair, sorry. There we go. So we'll go ahead and repair him up. Uh, I do need to repair my shovels as well, but we'll do that a little bit later. Uh, finding those boss temples though, they definitely do help us out on the experience here, so. There we go, a little bit more from you, and how much do you cost? Not too much, all right, cool. We do need to get a little bit more in breaking on my helmet though, looks like. But there we go, mostly repaired up, happy to go, and I think, check out uses, ooh, what is that? Deadly warp page. I don't know if I really like that. Actually, hold on, is, would that teleport you away before death, maybe? Hmm. That would be interesting. All right, so to get a potion of harming, that's what I was actually looking at trying to get. I think we're going to need to grab potion of strength. Okay, I can do that. I actually have some blaze powder. So a little bit of blaze powder on this guy, and then we'll add this on top of it. I don't know if we can do harming. I think we can do harming, too. Instant damage to, yeah, just a little bit of glowstone afterwards. So I'll grab one of those. Guys, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, potion brewing up here real quick. And I think I'm going to actually run through, get some more jars up so I can get some more potions. And then uh, we'll be back in just a minute after I get a little bit more set up to take on the wind temple. All right, guys, and we're back. So actually, it looks like I was uh, working towards the uh, splash potion of weakness, which is actually... Fine with me, minus 0.5 attack damage. I'm I'm kind of all right with that. So we'll just toss a few of these his way, um, or whatever's way, um, when we do our fighting. But I would like to go ahead and make myself, finally, a golden bag of holding. So we're gonna need some gold, we're gonna need a little bit of wool. Soulbound, ooh, reincarnating might not be a bad idea on that. That way we actually have uh, a way to get all of our stuff back. We want the yeah, that might be pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and put those away. Just get some inventory space real quick. We're going to need a block of gold, two pieces of uh, gold. We need one diamond. I think we're going to need a chest. I don't remember if we have any. I don't think we do. And then I'm going to need some wool, which uh, I don't really have a good means of getting any wool at the moment. I don't think I've sheared any sheep. So it looks like we're just gonna have to stick with string, which is unfortunate. I really don't like using string, but that's what I was planning on using it for anyway, was a backpack, and there we go. That's gonna help. Now the nice thing about the golden bags of holding is that we should be able to take our backpacks and store them inside of there. So even better, right? This is a lot nicer. Inventory time to get clean. I love it. All right, so I wanna make sure I keep that on me. The wind temple uh, shovel we can put away. Um, I want to grab this, maybe about four of these, should be more than enough for our battle, and sort through that, let's grab these guys, real quick, uh, green potions, I might need to start using these for food, hopefully if everything goes right, I think I might be able to start using some of that stuff soon, um, because I want to try to set up a system 
very soon to start automatically going through our ceramic jars for us. I think that'd be cool. Let's get another set of coal in there. Let that start working and doing its thing. Pull all that stuff out. Um, you go in there, iron. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put the cactus green right in here. There we go. That's pretty much what I made that for. Uh, we'll get that guy going. And I think besides all that, we're we're ready to go, guys. Um, we got our splash potion of weakness, which we'll do two of those. We got some red potions ready. Yep. I think we're ready, guys. I think we are ready. Got the boomerang. Wing temple key. Let's go ahead and warp over to the Wind Temple itself. And let's see what awaits us inside. Alright. Oh, no. Not water. That's going to be hard. <laughs> I can see that already. That's going to be a little difficult. Alright. Let's see. Let's leave the warp book on our hot bar. I want to say we're not really missing anything. Also, can these um, auto-refill? It'd be really nice if these uh, potions actually auto-refilled. That'd be super helpful and wonderful. All right. Here we go. Whoa! Giant whiz robe. Um, okay, that, that was painful. Okay, the boomerang. Oh, oh, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Um. I'm trying to, like, hit his thing. I feel like it's helping, kind of. May not be helping whatsoever. That didn't seem to do anything. Yeah. I'm aware of this. I can't even really get close to him to do anything. He keeps teleporting away. I need to heal again. Like, I'm, I'm doing some damage to him. A little bit. I just, I can't get close enough. Oh, he's gonna get me. He got me. Oh, man, that stinks. Ah, and all my stuff's over there, guys. Oh, man. Dude, he actually... Ooh. He did some damage. Uh, I don't really know how to take out those wizards, though. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I gotta get it back over there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm... I'm gonna make my way over my own wall here to keep... That kept all the mobs out. Um, and I'm gonna try to get myself equipped up a little bit so that way I can make my way back over there and try to reclaim my stuff and rethink... Now we should probably take this guy out. I'm thinking we might need a bow of some sorts, and unfortunately, we actually haven't got ourselves a bow yet. We have this one, but might have to do some enchanting on it. Unfortunately, we haven't got a hero's bow yet, which kind of stinks. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna grab some stuff. I'm gonna make my way back over, and I'll meet you guys back there, hopefully in one piece. Um, let's grab you. All right, be back in a minute. Also, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try the bow and if I'm gonna do that I'm gonna enchant it real quick with a little unbreaking three I'm gonna try and get some more power on it than that so let's go ahead and enchant it thus far get a little bit more experience out of here I think we might be able to squeeze power five actually you know what would be really nice infinity that would be perfect I think we got some more yeah bottles of experience right in here there we go and let's see if we can get power five. Power five. Enchanted. What do we need? Oh, bow luck. Bow drawn back? Um, requires seven levels? Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give that a whirl. You better believe that. Um, yeah, this kind of stinks. I don't, I don't have a bed out here. Um... I need to go sleep through the night real quick. <laughs> I'm going to grab the XP out of there in a minute, and we're going to come back. We're going to enchant this real quick. I'm going to sleep through the night. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. I'm going to try to see if I can get maybe infinity on here as well as bow drawback. Oh, nice. Just enough. Repair cost six. So power five, unbreaking three, infinity one, and bow drawback. So we won't need all those arrows. I also went ahead and grabbed these pieces of power outside of... Uh, 
Oh, does that? Oh, that is nice. That keeps it to where we don't even have to draw it like all the way back. We just right click and it goes. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. All right, so I'm gonna grab this, uh, maybe some more pieces of power. We should be able to just drop these right on the ground and uh, uh, utilize their uh, power-ups. So I'm gonna go ahead and head all the way back over there, try to regreen my stuff real quick, and we'll see if we can maybe try to take down this Wizrobe one more time. Be back in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. He is still in there teleporting around. I hear him. Oh, man. Um, Actually, where is my... Okay, that's perfect. Hello, Mr. Wizrobe. I need to see if I can shoot you with my bow. I would love to be able to do that. Actually, did that even do anything? Nope, nope, that just bounces right on off of him. Well, that's just great. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, I did have another idea, though. We do have another plan. Oh, wow. I didn't even... These things didn't even take damage from his attacks? Interesting. Alright, I can't pick all my stuff up. <laughs> I got way too much stuff on me. Alright, you can stay over there. Get out of my inventory, Moth Stone. And did I get my, my bag of holding? I did. So I'm going to put away some of these... Uh, things here. Splash Potion of Weakness. I really didn't, I didn't try that at all. Which is okay because I'm pretty sure it's not going to do too much. Um, we do have this. A Sacred Shield which blocks electricity. So maybe, just maybe, if we use that we might be able to block some of his attacks. Some of them. Alright, so let's put that there. I'm going to put, for now, this guy away. Let's clean up the inventory. Another thing I haven't tried yet was this. Our Deku Leaf. I don't think it's going to do anything. Nope, it doesn't do anything. Um, and we also have the pieces of power, which would be really nice. I'm going to grab one of those. I'm going to go ahead and drink this. Get another one of those ready. And another one of those. Let's go ahead and get our sword out. Now, if we shift... What is it? Uh, if we lock onto him, can we lock onto you? Oh, yeah. We got that sword ability now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Can we hit him? Yeah, if we use our sword beam... Ah, we gotta lock onto him. Come on. Come on. Why isn't it working? Ow. Um... Why is my sword beam not working? Okay, that's hurting a lot. Oh. And I can see the problem. Oh, actually, hold on. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat weakness, my friend. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, hold on. Wonder how well my uh, shielding ability works. Oh! Okay. Shield? A shield works perfect. Okay, we found how to beat him. Come on. You ain't got nothing on me now, friend. Oh, oh, that one hurt. Oh, I can't do anything. He's got me iced over. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Whew. All right, I need to eat. Eat, eat, eat food. Oh, oh. I uh, might need health in a minute. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's go over to this one. Ah! Why is my sword beam not working? My sword beam don't like me. Half the time I know I'm not locked on, right? But... Ah, why can't I move? All right, heal, heal, heal. Ooh, that was just in time, too. Okay, I don't know if that potion of weakness did anything. <laughs> All right, that one should block just fine. Okay. Yeah, smack him good. There we go. I think we're doing some damage when we can hit him with our sword. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. You don't like that very much, do you? Teleporting around like that. We'll just take him out with our sword. Come on. Try to keep him from hitting us. Oh, whoa. 
Uh. Ah! Whoa! Oof. Um, yeah. Uh, I need to, for one, the, uh, the battle thing is annoying because I can't switch to my hotbar right in time and stuff, so. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Healing. Healing. And then we're gonna toss this out. Oh, I have slowness too, thanks to him. Oh, well, great. Here. Have a little bit of strength. Whoa, whoa. No, sir. No. Bad. All right. Back to it. Get over here, sir. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Experience galore. I love it. Oh, look at that. The sacred flame of Aurora. Oh, that is so cool. Um, now, he did drop us another hard canister. Sweet. Now we have up to 15 hearts. Look at us go. That wasn't too bad. Obviously, going in and out of the room is probably a little eh, but we did it nonetheless. And I'm going to go ahead and open up our chest. So what did we get? We got ourselves the skill orb of sword beam again and another small key. We got ourselves our fourth heart piece, another diamond, another whip. So I'm not going to worry about picking that guy up because I really don't need it. Uh, but if we grab our bag here, we can pull out our heart canisters. We now have four to get ourselves yet another heart. And we got Learn Sword Beam 2. Awesome. So, guys, I don't know about you, but I would not mind going out and seeing uh, about maybe doing another temple. I would like to do... Uh, possibly another earth temple just because I know I have some of those uh, as far as this is concerned I think we need some sort of like crystal uh, this thing right here uh, spirit crystal seems to be a container of some sort now unfortunately I don't think we can do anything else with this until we actually get that container so what I'm gonna oh hello my friend I guess that wizard actually spawned you uh, what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna actually head oops yeah, let's go ahead and sleep first, and then we're going to head back, and we got a whole bunch of levels we can do just about anything we want with, and where's my book at? Let's do that. Uh, yeah, so we got, we got another dungeon conquered. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if that one actually dropped a pendant or if it was supposed to or not. If it did, then we might have to do another one of those in the future, which <laughs> so far, that one is my least favorite, I'm going to say, uh, just because of how kind of difficult that was. Uh, him running around like that. So we're going to do another Earth Temple. I'm going to mark one on my map. We're going to head out and see if we can find one of those guys. Let's see, Potion of Strength. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I think we'll grab another one of those guys. And I'll try out the Splash Potion of Weakness on our other friend, the Dark Knight. So let me take a look into my bag. Or my... Uh, oops, why'd you go there? Uh, I need my atlas. So I'm going to look through my atlas real quick, guys. Find us another temple. I'll be back in just a minute once we actually get to another earth temple. Be back in just a minute. All right, guys. Not too far out from the uh, village we got all of our villagers from and found ourselves another earth temple. And, ooh, hello. Little chest on top. Ooh, more great fairy dust. Another small key. A little bit of iron. Not going to worry too much about that guy. Uh, let's put this and this away. And I think we can go ahead and put these two bags away. Can even put my atlas back in there. And let's go ahead and get ourselves prepared for another fight. Let's see, we need that. You and then you. We'll go ahead and put our key down there. All right, where's the entrance? Ow. Ooh, secret room right there. Well, what do you know? We'll open that up in a minute. Hopefully, uh, I remember. <laughs> Hopefully. You know what? I need blocks anyway. Let's go ahead and just open it up right now. Because I need some more blocks. I got to get in, in the front of that guy. All right. So, let's see. Let's just, let's just go to town. Open says me. Ooh, not too bad. And nothing exciting whatsoever. Where's all my blocks at? Need some doit. Uh, am I going to be able to make that over there? Uh, looks like a no. I'm going to go with a no on that one. So we should be able to finish this guy up rather easily. We've uh, proved our... Wait a minute. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the right key, isn't it? Okay, and... 
Actually, I wonder how well the bow would work on him. I don't think it's gonna work at all, though. Honestly. And I do want to try my new sword beam on him. Uh, we actually have a couple new abilities. We got skill or orb of dodge, which I haven't used yet. The armor break, which we can get off creepers. Uh, rising cut. While locked on, crouch by pressing the sneak key and then jump and attack. Okay. I think I'm going to try out the sword beam, though. I think that's going to be our best bet, maybe, because of, like, ranged and stuff. So I think that's going to help us out extensively there. Um, I want to make sure we put that there. Actually, let's put that guy there. I don't think we're really going to need our our uh, pickaxe at all during this fight. So we'll put that uh, golden apple on our hot bar as well. The piece of power, which will be nice because it will give us a little bit more of a boost. All right. Here we go. We're going in. Might need another one of those and a few more of these. <laughs> all right. Toss it down. Get our power up and... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. He apparently... Oh, 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 oh my gosh. You guys see how much damage I just did to him? Uh, he's doing some damage to me, though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's, he's throwing down the bombs again. Or someone's throwing down the bombs. All right, we need a little bit of health and... Put that back there. Oh, 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 there's a bomb over there. Wait, what? Uh, what was that? Did it just open up a secret room? <laughs> it sounded like it just opened up a secret room. Uh, okay, good. Alright, we need to get another one of these guys down. Ooh, let's toss that guy down. Cause that did some damage on him. Oh, that did some damage to me. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Ooh. Get him, get him. Oh, okay, one more. One more hit. Got him. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, he actually dropped a sword. Heavy broadsword, a huge blade used by dark nuts. Sharpness two. Look at that, that looks really cool. Nice, and we got a whole heap ton of experience yet again, and we get to claim our reward. Yet another pendant of power, heart piece, iron, or ice arrow, I'm sorry, uh, some rupees, which is nice. <gasps> Pegasus boots, these are great running boots. <laughs> Apparently so. We're going to have to give those a whirl. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and clean up the inventory real quick. Uh, I'm going to hold on to our... Potion bottles here. Actually, and you know what? I didn't even try the Splash Potion of Weakness. I so should have done that. <laughs> totally didn't. Another heart container for us. So now we're up to level 7 heart container. Nice. So. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, nice. They give us haste and massive jump boost. Okay. These things are awesome. Literally. Okay, that was not so awesome. But that. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I'm very happy about this. Can definitely get around a lot faster now and find us a whole ooh, things like this. A lot easier. Secret rooms. Yes. So good. I like. And nothing good. Oh well, golden apple. And some rupees. I'll take the rupees. Rupees are nice. So guys, um, I think you know what? Does this have Oh, I thought maybe it had like step hill assist. That would have been awesome. I actually think I know where there's one more secret room that was just kind of popped out in the open and i'm gonna go take a look at that real quick before we actually head back i want to do one more thing before we finish off for today and i think it's gonna be kind of fun uh we're gonna try and set up a system for those jars so the ceramic jars so that way maybe this time we can get them to um actually open for us automatically so oh there we go secret stone right there and i'm also curious these don't take damage it looks like maybe of course nothing's hit me yet either but uh, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. Um, where's my hammer? There it is. And what do we got? A key and a few bombs. And eh, not the best thing in the world. But it's all right, nonetheless. All right, guys, I'm going to warp back. I'm going to clean up my inventory, and I'm going to get some stuff set up so that way we can uh, hopefully try to get this uh, done today. So we'll be back here in just a minute. 
All right, guys, and we're back. Got my inventory all cleaned up, and I am ready to get started on trying to maybe uh, automate a little bit of this uh, ceramic jar breaking and placing for us. So from open blocks, there's a block called the Blank Placer, and I'm going to give this guy a whirl. I'm not too sure if this is going to work the way I want, but I'm going to hope and cross my fingers, because uh, if it does, that would just be downright awesome. So let's grab a whole stack of you. And let's grab some spruce wood. We're going to need some pistons. I know we're going to need probably a few, so we'll just grab four for now. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more redstone. I think we're going to need some diamonds and probably a couple sticks. I think uh, for the block breaker, we're going to need a diamond pick, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Do we have everything to make you? We do. We have enough. All right. Cool. So we got that guy. Let's go ahead and check out the breaker. The block breaker. Ooh, that looks cool. Big Goron sword. Forged by Master Smith. Yeah, definitely. Probably need to look into those. Alright, so we need our diamond hammer. So let's get one of those guys made. We got plenty of diamonds. I'm not too worried about that. So I'll do you and what am I missing? Um pretty sure I have everything. Don't know why it didn't want to work. Alright, so. If anything, I probably should have tested this before I did the block breaker, but uh, we need to test to see if the block placer is even going to place down our ceramic jars. If it doesn't, then this is probably not going to work, and I don't really know of any other way to do it. Uh, so we'll put that in there. Let's just make a quick button. Hmm. To me, that does not look like that worked. <laughs> I'm going to try one more thing. There could be a, a possibility that it might need to be facing downward, maybe? Is that... Okay, it's facing that way. Does it face the way that... Okay, okay, cool. I can do that. That faces the opposite way of... Okay, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> Let's do this. We'll do you. Or replace this guy. Put that in there and see if it works now. No, block placer does not work. Uh, okay, well I'm pretty sure the block breaker is not going to help me out much. We can we can shift right and click that down there, just like so. If we pick up our button, we can give this guy a redstone signal. Yeah, that's not even working on it. Okay. Well, guys, I was going to try it, but at least we did manage to take down ourselves a wind temple today. That was pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I did offload all of my experience into the tank here. Um, I wouldn't mind actually checking out some stuff on my sword here. We got sharpness 5. Let's go ahead and get looting 3. Go ahead and enchant that on there. That'd be nice. Uh, knockback. I don't know if I really want knockback or fire aspect, so let's just go ahead and repair it. That looks good to me. Um, I don't think we can enchant our boomerang. That would be awesome if we could. Uh, everything else... Um, I like how we've got this thing nearly maxed out. Bow luck would be kind of cool on there as well. I don't think we have any other items, really. And I did check. We can't enchant the Pegasus boots. Which really stinks, but uh, that's alright. Quite okay in my books. Now, we can enchant this guy, the heavy uh, broadsword. I actually haven't even put that in my hand yet but that looks really nice oh oh it's got a, like a slow swing speed oh that that kind of stinks but it does look really cool you can tell it's kind of large look at that large broadsword oh man that is cool though uh, we can enchant this one so we could uh, add more sharpness to it it's already got 9.5 uh, with sharpness too, so not too bad but guys I'm gonna call it there for today I'm gonna keep trying to find up uh, ways to possibly automate these ceramic jars so I don't have to sit here and just keep doing this because it's a nice way to get rupees, bombs, and deku nuts, a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. Uh, at least I can use the vacuum hopper to collect everything, which actually might not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and make us another chest real quick. Boop. And for now, I can just pop that guy kind of down like this and we'll just set this guy here. Look at that. That's cool. I love vacuum hoppers. They're the best. And we'll just have it filter into there. So pretty much all I got to do now. I think it'll even probably pick up the hearts. Uh, I just sit here and just 
right click right there towards the uh, the hopper. It will automatically pick up all of our stuff for us and put it in the chest. I think it'll even pick up the hearts. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it just picks them right up. I guess we can just place those back down the ground, use those whenever we want. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.